So you printed out your tester page on your edible printer and the colors aren't coming out right? Oh, so annoying. What do you do? I'm gonna show you. Hi, it's Carolyn. I'm back with another video. And if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. And if you wanna see the different tips and tricks and ways that I bake and decorate cakes, then hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can get notified whenever I release a new video. So like I said in the intro, I went to print my tester page on my edible image printer and the colors are coming out weird. So I've been kind of having an issue with the black. It has these little stripes in it. So when I print a tester page, I print something that has all the colors of the rainbow along with something that has black in it. And of course I choose a friend's picture frame because I'm a friend's freak, but anyway. So when I see the colors not coming out correctly, that's when I know I have to clean the printer head. So in this video, I'm going to show you my process of clearing the printer head so my colors can flow through the printer head and give me pretty pictures. <laughs> I have a Canon MX922 printer. I buy my icing image, my edible image supplies from icing images. I can link them below. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but I use their products and I love them. On their website, they do recommend that you use cat. Why is it so hard for me to say? They do recommend that you use Canon printers because the printer heads are easily removed for this purpose, for cleaning purposes. So I can also link below the computer, the computer, the printer that I got. My mind is going a mile a minute. I apologize. I will link below the printer that I got so you can get something similar, but I'm talking too much. Let's just get into the video and I will show you how I clear my printer head. Every day or every other day, I print tester pages just to make sure that the ink is running through the system and I don't have any clogs. This is what it looks like when everything is good. All the colors are vibrant. This morning I printed it and you can see the black in the picture frame is has all the stripes in it so now I know I have to clean the printer head so what I'm gonna do I have to remove the printer head and the ink cartridges so I'm gonna turn it on now your model might be a little different so it should basically be the same process so I'm going to open the front part and just lift up this whole section so the printer cartridges are, uh, what's the word? Yes. So they come here and they're lit, okay? Once the cartridges come out, you want to pull this front piece forward, the part that has all the colors listed. You can take your finger and just pull this forward. So yeah, I'm pushing this over to the left a little bit and then pulling this piece forward, which is gonna lock it in place. You need to do that first so it doesn't slide back to where it is, to where, so it doesn't slide back. So it doesn't slide back. <laughs> okay, so now I wanna take out the cartridges. I always wear gloves because this stuff gets very messy. So I have a paper towel. So you wanna keep these orange clips and I'm gonna take out each of the cartridges. So press in here with my fingers to lift it up. And then to put the cartridge on, I'm gonna hook the little plastic piece around the end and press it so it closes. And I'm gonna do that for all five of them. I'm just gonna set these aside. Now what I wanna do is remove the printer head. So it's gonna be a little difficult to see, but I'm gonna take the printer head out. There's a piece of plastic in the middle right here that sticks up and I'm gonna take my two fingers and grab it and then pull it and lift it out. like so okay so here is the printer head and now we are going to go ahead and unclog it now i have all of the supplies that i'm going to need to clear the printer head i got this printer head cleaning system from icing images i'm not affiliated with them but i can link this below so you can get the same so you can so you can get this <laughs> Inside of this cleaning system pouch is everything that you're gonna need 
it, you have some non-toxic printhead cleaner. I actually just bought more the other day. So this does not come in this bag. You have this little one here. These little tweezers. You have the syringe here with these two attachments and this little container. And I will show you how to do everything. I keep paper towels handy and a glass so I can put some water in it. And we will continue. So to start off, I'm gonna take the tweezers and this little container here, pour a little bit of this printhead cleaner in there, and I actually mix it with a little bit of water. And what you wanna do is there's these little rubber black pads on each of the sections here. So I wanna remove all five of these pads with the tweezers. So just pull it off and then drop it in the little container and do that for all of them. And then just put the lid on this jar and set that aside. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the water on really, really hot and just run water through each of these screens here to clear out as much of the color as I can before I start using the syringe. So what I do, I'm gonna let this sit down in the sink and just let the hot water run on top of each one of them. So I'm just gonna go one by one and let all of the color run clear and then I will continue. You could still see the blue ink running out from underneath. So I want to keep running the water until that's clear. And now I'm just letting it sit in the sink and letting the water run on it instead of holding it and just waiting for all the ink to get out. It does take a little while, but this really does help you not have to use so much of the printer head cleaner. Okay, now I'm gonna fill my glass with some water. Always use hot water. And I'm gonna take my syringe and now I'm going to really clean these out a little more. I wanna make sure that I can see the water coming out of the back, which will mean that these each, each one of these is clear. So there are two sizes of the attachments. The bigger one goes around the biggest circle here. And then the smaller one is for the other ones. So I'm gonna start with the big one. And it, it's a pretty tight fit. So you have to kind of take one end, push it on and then stretch it across to get it to fit. And you want it to fit really good and push it all the way down. I'm gonna take my syringe, just fill it like halfway. You don't wanna fill it the whole way because then it's hard to push the top. Now this is where I can get a little tricky. I'm gonna put this in here, make sure it's really tight, and then I keep my hand around it because if you don't, the pressure can sometimes release this and then you're gonna have water all over your face. So I'm just gonna try to keep the seal here, right here, I'm just trying to hold this tight and I'm gonna look through the back and make sure that I can see the water start coming out of the back. You see that? So if you could see it coming out of there pretty easily, it means that channel is clear. Okay. And now I'm gonna do that for the other ones. I'm gonna take off this big one and now I'm gonna do the same thing with the small piece. So the blue end actually attaches to this part. So I'm gonna stick the plastic end around 
the little circle screen, screen circle, whatever it is. I know I'm calling it the wrong thing, but whatever. So do the same thing. I start on one side and push it over, push it on to make sure it's really tight. Get some water in the syringe and same thing. So I want to really hold this tight here to make sure I don't lose the seal and start to squeeze and make sure that I can see the water coming out the other end. And repeat the process for the other three. And just for good measure, I'm going to do all five of them again, just with the water, and then I will clean it out with the cleaner as well. Now I'm going to basically do the same thing, except use the print head cleaner now. And I'm not going to need as much because I've already basically cleared the clogs with the hot water. And then repeat the process for all five channels. You wanna make sure that you could see it coming out the other end, right? And I just do a little bit in each. Okay, now all the channels are clear, all the ink is out, and it looked like everything was running smoothly, smoothly. It looked like the liquid was coming out of the back really good. If one of these were clogged, when I was shooting the syringe through the tube, nothing would come out the back, and that's when you have an issue. That's what happened to me before, and I had to get a new printer because the printer head was all messed up and I couldn't unclog it. So now just rinse everything off. I'm just gonna shake this out and I want this to be dry completely before I put it back in the computer, in the computer, in the printer. So set this aside. I'm gonna let it dry on the paper towels that I have over here. And now I have this jar with the rubber pieces. So just shake it up. And we're going to just rinse all of these. These little buggers are easy to lose. So just make sure that you don't drop them down the drain. <laughs> so now this has been drying for a little while but I want to make sure that it is completely, what can I talk, completely dry before I put it back. So I just took a paper towel and I tore it in like a little section and I'm gonna make a little point here. And I am just going to make sure that there is no water anywhere in here. Just running the paper towel through the whole thing to make sure I can get up all the water. You definitely do not want to put this back when it is wet. I find that water kind of um, stays in these little squares in the back. If you could see that the little holes here, you could kind of see, there it is. You can see some water in there. So just take your paper towel and try to soak it all up. I'm gonna make sure that you don't take your fingers and touch any of these parts because it could mess it up. Okay, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> and now I have to put these black pieces back on. Same thing, I'm just gonna make sure they're completely dry. 
Okay, so now when you put them on, if you can see, there is, it's a very slight difference, but there's a thicker end and a thinner end. Like there's more rubber up here above the circle than below. So the wider end, you want it to go towards the back piece and the thinner end in the front. So I'm just gonna put this on top and then take the tweezers and push it down. Making sure that it's flush with the bottom and doing that for all five making sure that you have the thicker piece in the back, the thinner part in the front. So this circle one is a little different because it's a different shape. However, you still want the thicker part in the back and the thinner part in the front. And I'm just taking the tweezers like one on either side of the screen and just pushing it down. Okay, and now it's ready to go back in the printer. So now I always keep paper towels with me when I'm doing this. Put your gloves back on because dealing with the cartridges can get a little messy and if you get any of this ink on your fingers, it's just a mess to get off. So I want to put the printer head back in. So what I do, you're not really going to be able to see, but I'm going to stick it in this way and then curve it down, right? I can't just push it in like this. It's not going to fit. So I'm going to put it in. So this is up and then push it down. So it's going to sit down inside it perfectly. You'll feel it click when you put it in. I'm pushing it in and then push it down and now it's sitting back there. And now I just wanna put the cartridges back in. So you have to make sure that you put them in the right spot. They are labeled as to which colors go where. I think you will all know that. So to release this, you wanna press this little end and the cartridge will pop off and then take that piece out of this end, right? So you wanna slide it out. There's a little bit of ink on here and that's why I have the paper towel so I could just set that down. And then when you put it in, you just have to slide it back until it doesn't go back anymore and then press it down. The light will eventually come on. And then just repeat the process for the other four. Good, now that that's in, I'm going to just press this back and then close that part. And then I'm gonna close here and it will start to uh, go back. The, oh, what am I trying to say? The cartridges will start to load in the system. I'm not gonna print right away. I'm gonna let it sit there for a couple minutes, let the ink start to run through the printer head again, and then I will print a couple test pages to see if it is all clear and everything worked. Now I'm just gonna rinse the ink off of these and then I will store them wrapped in a paper towel or you can put them in a plastic bag. So I just rinsed all of these in the water and just set that aside. And just make sure you take everything apart. So I'm gonna take the syringe apart and really just let everything air dry before you put it away. And now I just want to print a tester page to make sure that the ink is running through the system correctly. So just send that to the printer and make sure that the print it, that it's printing correctly before you print on an edible image sheet. Okay, just to show you that the, the ink does have to start running through the system. So I'm gonna have to print a couple times. Here is what came out. And you can see that there are still some lines in the black section. So I'm gonna print it a couple more times until the black square looks much better than that. Okay, now it looks like it's getting a little better. There's still some lines in the black and I'm gonna print it one more time. And now this looks much better. Now I'm ready to print on an edible image icing sheet. So there you go, there is my tedious process of cleaning the printer head. It's not tedious, 
What it is, it's just annoying because when you want to print something and you see that the colors aren't coming out right, you know that you have like about 20 to 30 minutes of having to clear everything out before you continue. So that's why I try to print every day just a little picture that has the rainbow and the black in it to keep the ink moving through the system. I used to only print once a week, but I find that printing every day, it just gives me peace of mind. I know it could waste some ink, but at least it keeps it running through the system um, more often. Once you clean everything out, you want to print a couple times to give the, the ink a chance to run through the printer head and through the system. So you may not get perfect colors right away. That's why I just print on normal paper a couple times until the ink is running through. And it took me uh, to the fifth time I printed this picture and then it came out fine. Just remember that edible printer systems are very different than your regular printer. The ink is edible ink. It's not toxic. It doesn't have any of the chemicals in it to prevent the printer head from clogging. So you have to manually keep the ink running through the system by printing and or you may have to clear the clog every now and then as I showed you in this video. I also, I have another edible image tutorial and I have a lot of people asking me, do I have an edible printer? So what, when you have a printer, what makes it edible is that it has never been used for regular printing purposes ever before. You've never had any ink run through that system, only edible ink. So if you, you can only purchase a brand new printer and never use the cartridges that come with it, only use the edible ink cartridges that you can get from any website. I can link icing images below because that's who I use. So you want to make sure that your edible printer is only used for printing edible images never use it for anything else and that will keep it food safe uh, what else do i want to say about this and i can link that video I'll, I'll link the videos that i've done on edible images they are really a, pretty simple to work with the system can take a little bit of maintenance to keep the ink flowing but other than that i really love it because it gives such a nice result a pretty picture there go my neighbor's dogs, of course, whenever I film, but whatever, I digress. Because printing edible images takes less time than hand making um, characters and different decorations out of fondant. So I really can't think of anything else to say about this. If you have any questions, leave them below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. I try to check my YouTube comments once a day in the morning before I start working. Um, and please like this video if you liked it. Why did I say please? please? like this video if you liked it hit this hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and you want to see more videos like this and you can follow me on social media i am on facebook and instagram and i have my website i will link all of that below thank you so much for watching the video and i will see you on the next one